What's up guys, welcome to my first Call of Duty World at War commentary. I checked my messages in the beginning of this for some odd reason. Oh well. Over the last like 10 days I've gotten 566 messages. I mentioned that in my gaming setup video. Check out that video as well if you want to know what I use and all that. If it's already uploaded, then check it out. If not, then something happened with the connection and I gotta upload it another time. We're getting a tech guy up here real soon. Probably by Saturday. So, yeah, you get. I'm just gonna have to hold out for now. They gotta fix up the wiring and all that. So, I should be getting my connection back to real good soon. So just until then, hold out guys. I'll be online, but if I don't join your game, I'm sorry. If you're in my game and I sign out, I'm sorry. It's just, look at that bullshit. Just real quick, just look at that. Double tap, dead silence, and boom, I died the first two shots. See, those perks, I really don't care. Double tap, doesn't bother me. Oh, well, use it. If you want to use it, use it. Dead silence, go ahead. Be my guest. Perks like Juggernaut. Perks like Frag Times 3. Perks like Last Stand. And, uh... I'll say Marty Dome as well. It's kind of annoying. If you use Marty Dome, that means you have no skills. I mean, if you gotta get a kill by dropping a grenade when you die and having some random guy walk right by you and then blowing up, that's not skill. That's just more grenades. Frag times three. If you gotta throw grenades the whole damn match, that's not skill. Anybody could throw a damn grenade, and I know you guys do that shit at random. But some of you guys actually study like the grenade spots you know where the hell to throw it where people are gonna go and if you really do that please get seriously get you have as a matter of fact you have way too much free time on your hands i'll say i wouldn't say get a life maybe you, you do have a life and you just have way too much free time on your hands so yeah and so school starts in a couple of weeks for me like two weeks from when i'm making this commentary i'm making this commentary right now it's like 28th it just turned 28th, it's like 12 a.m. So, yeah, I'm pretty tired right now. Hold on. I gotta yawn. Yeah, we're getting a tech guy up here. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but oh well. We called the Verizon people, and they say that it's gonna cost us some money. And I sucked real bad there, but anyways, it's gonna cost us some money. And they gave us a number to call that they said it would cost a little bit less money if we call that number. Or whatever because they got to change wires and this guy's going to be up here for like a couple of hours in my house and I'm, I'm going to be watching him like a fucking hawk watching every move he does because I don't trust anybody it doesn't even matter what your skin color is you could be black, white, yellow, green, blue, purple I'm watching you like a hawk in my house alright so uh, when he comes up here I'll let you guys know when he's up here I'll put a little update on my YouTube channel I know a lot of you guys are not gonna care but some of you guys do because you guys really wanna play matches with me I've been getting a lot of messages invite can we make videos all this and that I would love to make videos with you guys I'd love to have you guys in my videos but I have a lot of connection issues you gotta keep that in mind when you're sending me messages especially calm down with the messages because in a matter of 10 days I got 568 messages I'm only one guy here right I'm not saying stop all messages, just don't send messages like, hey, can I be in a video or anything like that? I haven't forgot about you. When I'm recording, I'll put it in my comment box and just let me know to invite you and I'll try to see if I can invite you. Remember, you're not the only person. There's another hundred people on my list and I keep in, um, deleting people. If we don't talk for a while, you gotta go. I'm sorry. It's not the personal, just fucking business. Beautiful business that is, YouTube business. <coughs> Been having a little dry throat today, what the hell? I gotta drink some Fanta or some shit. <clears throat> so I made a setup video, gaming setup video, as I like to call my piece of shit setup. Because I don't have the best setup in the world, I don't have HD TVs and PVRs like, and shit like that. But my quality is very much much better as I'm looking at it right now of course this is the raw file if I was to upload this file like without touching it Sony Vegas or anything 
it will look almost as good as a PBR. But because of Sony Vegas and you edit and do all that stuff, it degrades the quality. And last stand, son of a bitch. So, yeah. If I was to upload this video just like this, it would be kind of boring anyways because you would just be watching me play. Just kind of whack. I wouldn't watch that video. But I die a lot in this game. Because I'm not very used to it. I'm used to Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 is kind of like died out. <clears throat> so we're all going to have to sit tight. Hold our asses until Modern Warfare 2 comes out. And just play a little bit of World at War. Put up with Treyarch's shitty development. Because they really did a horrible job on this game, I gotta say. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm one of those people that don't. Because if you, if you play it, if you actually play it, sometimes you'll get into like this jagged up like part where your character would just keep on moving up and down, up and down, even when you're walking or you're sprinting. And it also feels kind of laggy all the time. Not like connection wise, just like the screen, the frame rate, I'll say. It looks kind of, you know, a little bit out of whack, as I'll say. So, yeah, Treyarch, if you're watching this, just fix that in your next game or just don't make a game at all. You know what, here's the thing, Infinity Ward should take some tips on servers and all that thing from Treyarch, and Treyarch should take some developing tips from Infinity Ward. They should get together and talk to each other, because Treyarch has like one of the best servers I've ever seen for a game. Anybody could freaking host. On Call of Duty 4, you can have the best connection, and you can still have people going yellow and red and shit. It, it, Call of Duty 4 is all messed up, so anyways, I'll be playing this for a little while. I'm not putting up with the noobs anymore on Call of Duty 4, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If not, too fucking bad. Until next time, I'm Slayer612. Have a great fucking day.